Welcome to another four minute maths, maths that you can time your boiled egg to. Today's subject is set theory, the theory of sets. So, what is a set? Well, a set can be a group of just about anything. You really are free to define your set. Um, sets are a very useful way of describing some mathematical ideas. Um, but just to start with, let's just define some sets quite randomly. That one is the numbers one, two, and three. Number five isn't in that set. It's not in that list. This one down here, all positive integers less than four. That's just another way of writing the same set. Everything that's in that set is in that set. Those two sets are the same. Some of the other sets I've got around here, they're all a bit randomly defined. All capital cities south of London. Paris is in the set. Oslo isn't. If you the city of your country, is it south of London? If it is, it's in that set. This one here is a special one, that's called the empty set. Still a set, just as it doesn't have any members. A list of nothing, everything isn't in that set. This one here just shows really that you've got to define your sets quite carefully. I mean, is that one person called John and a particular person called Peter? Or is it all the Johns in the world, all the Peters in the world? Context would have to decide that one. I've not really described that one. And this last one's a bit random. Africa, my computer mouse, and every single bee in the world that's alive. Those things don't seem to have much in common with each other, but they can all live together in the same set, so long as you define it as such. One that's a little bit tricky to understand, maybe. All the sets that have the number two as a member. So everything in this set is a set. So number two isn't in this set, but a set with the number two in is a member. Um, maybe that <coughs> a little bit sort of more complicated to describe. So let's have a little look at how we can often write down sets. Um, a Venn diagram is a very useful um, way of displaying sets because you can actually see how sets interact with each other. Now usually the Venn diagram, but the universal set, the set that everything we're interested in, for this particular example is a square, and it's normally called a curly E. I've not made that E particularly curly. It's usually a curly E. And then we've got two sets, A and B. Now I've said our universal set is all positive integers less than 20. And we can actually write in here now where these numbers go, I probably won't do them all, since I've only got a minute left. Um, but for example, number two is in set A, because they're all even numbers, and prime, it's a prime number, it's the only even prime. So two would go, um, I brought it on, wasn't online function, uh, two would go in there, three would go in there, and say 10 would go in there. I so say I'm not going to write them all in because I'm running short of my four minutes. Um, let me think of an, another number that might not be in either of these two sets. Uh, 15. 15 isn't prime, it's not even, but it is less than 20. So we'd write 15 out there. So I've not completed that diagram. Um, just in the last uh, 20 seconds, let me just describe what these two things up here are. A, that's a way of describing how two sets combine. That's quite an easy sign to remember because it looks like the letter U and it means union and that means everything that's in bit A and everything that's in B. And that's the, that's the opposite one, that's everything that's in A and B and it's called A intersection B. And that's our four minutes for today. Four minutes, quick four minutes on set theory. Um, I'm not decided to be one over the weekend yet, but there may be, there'll definitely be some more of these videos next week. Uh, so, thank you.